Good afternoon, software engineers. I'm on vacation at the beach. Maybe. Well, that wasn't the semester we expected, now was it? I'm proud of you all. I'm proud of you for sticking with it. I'm proud of you for, I'm thankful for you for sticking with me, um, for sticking with your teams, for making it through what's been and still is really tough. Um, it's affected us all differently, and I know that it's affected some of you harder than others, and my heart goes out to you. Um, I, I wish you all the best, and I, I sincerely hope that things improve um, as quickly as possible. For those of you that have at, have lost someone, heart goes out to you. Um, I don't know what the next few months will bring, but I'll be here. And if you need me, drop me a line. Um, maybe I'll keep making some YouTube videos. Maybe I'll, I'll definitely keep streaming some. Even though, admittedly, I haven't streamed in the past few couple weeks because things have been crazy. But I'll be here. You know, software engineering is all about learning how we can work together to help solve problems. And when all of this began, one of the first articles that someone shared with me was from um, the Daily Progress, Charlottesville's newspaper, about a team of students who had taken 3240 in the fall and had used Heroku and Django to build a coronavirus tracker. And that website had already gotten several thousand hits and it was growing. And this was, this was before things had really blown up. And um, that, was, that was pretty amazing. There's other students in our department who have built programs and apps to help get groceries to senior citizens. Software is powerful. And it's not going away. If anything, I think we've seen that our lives um, have become even more dependent on the digital world. Um, I chaperoned another play date inside of Animal uh, Crossing today. My mom, who doesn't internet, which I say, mom, internet's not a verb. Now, having Zoom meetings with her circle church friends. Um, things have changed, and we, software engineers, need to be a part of it. We need to be a part of helping people find solutions to making connections to people, to doing their jobs, to being safe. I know that some of your summers have been upended, and for that I'm truly sorry. Um, I, some of your summers have really just gone away. Some of you, the dream internship at Microsoft or Google or, or wherever is now turned into sitting in your room and talking to people at Microsoft and Google. And yeah, yeah, I, I, it's a bummer. It's a bummer, and I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for that. Um, for those of you that haven't found anything or had something taken away, uh, you can go to research.cs.virginia.edu and find a listing of, of research projects that CS faculty members have put together. Um, that website's always there. We use it for senior thesis projects, but it's also there for people who want to come out and do uh, research maybe during the summer as a research experience or, or in the fall if you want to you know, uh, get credit for something or even be paid for it. So if you're looking for a project, that's a great place to look. Reach out to those professors individually and see what they're doing. I, I hope this class taught you a little bit about what it's like to work together um, in admittedly even more interesting circumstances. Um, the tools and the practices that we learned along the way, we, we pitched them as, you know, suspend disbelief. You know, this is kind of how things could work. This is how, and some of it happened. You know, all of a sudden we were having to rely on um, asynchronous communication and GitHub and everything to make sure that your code is getting passed between teams. 
uh, in between team members. Um, so I, I sincerely hope that when you take these tools and these techniques forward into your careers or into the next few semesters of, of your of your program here, that they're useful to you. Um, if you never use Django again, that's fine. And some of you probably really are looking forward to not using Django again. If you never use Python again, that's fine. I, I know that many of you, um, or at least some of you, uh, you know, you, you get frustrated a little bit along the way when you said, you know, I, there wasn't enough Django. You didn't teach us enough about how to do Django. And, and I, I, I understand your frustration. I, I felt that frustration. I felt that frustration when I was in your shoes. I felt that frustration in internships. I felt that frustration um, early on in my in, 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 in my career when I didn't know how to do what it is that I needed to do. I knew that I needed to make something. I knew I needed to build a solution. I knew I needed to solve a problem, but I didn't know how to do it. And I made the decision a long time ago that one of the ways that we would try to help students do that is to put them in an environment where we kind of forced your hand slightly. And is it uncomfortable sometimes? It is. Um, is it frustrating sometimes? It is. And I've certainly seen the effects of that as I've gotten feedback, you know, from... I, my most creative feedback is usually from 32 <laughs> Um uh, yeah, you can go to my website and find some of those if you really want to. But it's also the course where I've gotten the most feedback from alums afterwards saying how things have been useful. So, trust me when I say that I think that there was a purpose behind it. Um, and I hope that the, the lesson of learning how to look for the solutions did come through in the end. Um, if you would like to leave me feedback, I very much appreciate it. I do take all feedback very seriously. Um, whether that's through the official UVA form that, that, you, that you can fill out, which that's probably the higher priority because that's kind of the official thing. But then there's also the, un, the unofficial one that I sent out. Um, I've already gotten some really great notes from people during the demos. So I've talked about some of the challenges that you faced. So anything you want to give me, uh, I welcome. Um, I recognize that this is not a perfect class. It never is. Um, COVID aside, it's never perfect. And, and things always have to have to evolve they have to change because the students in the class change the projects change the nature of software development continually changes and i need to change with it and so it's not a course that can stand still and does that mean that sometimes there's some rough edges yeah but you know tell me how i can polish them tell me how i can make those a little bit smoother for the for the next group that comes through so um if um, if you have something, if you want to, to, to do that, please do so. You know, I, I like to think of, of teaching, particularly teaching this course, as kind of, kind of like being a dungeon master, kind of like being a game master in, in Dungeons & Dragons, um, because it's up to me to kind of tell a story, to tell a narrative, uh, to hook you in. And so, you know, kind of the story here is... How do we work together? What are the phases of development? How do we move a product, a large product, from con concept all the way through to something that people are using? Do we kind of skip some steps? Skip is strong. Do we, do we kind of, you know, we have to kind of breeze through some things because we don't have a, a ton of time. Yeah, but that's the story. And then along the way, I put monsters in your way or other creative challenges and you earn experience points and maybe level up along the way. Sorry there aren't as many, like, legendary loot drops. Um, maybe some of these corny videos can count. Um, but, uh, thanks. Thanks for listening to my story. Thanks for coming to the class. Thanks for participating in the projects. I'm sincerely, honestly wowed by the projects that I've seen. Um, forget COVID, the average quality of the projects this semester is higher than the average of previous semesters. Just period. It is. And that's because of y'all. Because of your perseverance. And I couldn't be more proud of you. I miss seeing you all. Um, it, it's been an absolute joy being able to see your faces in the demo sessions. Um, because it's just good seeing people and, and, and seeing y'all uh, in particular and talking uh, excitedly about your projects. I think it's been it's been fantastic. Uh, if you're graduating, I 
I better see you when you come back for whatever graduation thing we finally cook up for y'all. For everyone else, next time we're back on grounds, um, come by my office. And hopefully, we'll be living in a world where I can give you a handshake or a hug. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's been an honor and a privilege being your instructor this semester. I sincerely wish you all the best. Stay safe, stay healthy, relax when you can. I'll be online. I'll be here when you need me. And with that, the spring semester, 3240, is closed. Wow. Oh, it's good to see you again. Pull up a chair by the hearth.